This is me graduating in May 2019. And I belong to the millennial generation. In this video, I am going to be talking about things I learned in college as a millennial. Number one is office hours. I learned that visiting office hours are a complete waste of time. Uh, Professor B, I'm really confused about the difference between the median and the mean. Can you explain that to me? Um, Adrian, if, if you look at your slides and read the book, the mean and the median are explained there very well, and so you shouldn't have a problem understanding it at all, okay? No shit, Sherlock, I already checked out the slides, and I already read the book, so that's why I'm here in your office hours, because clearly I still don't understand the goddamn difference between the mean and the median. Shit. Number two. Google and YouTube. Since some of my professors are really bad at teaching, and everybody can attest to this, as a millennial generation, internet has become my best friend. Number three, desperate times. And if you can't find answers in Google and YouTube, desperate times means desperate measure. Like a millennial generation who pays for subscription, so you fucking subscribe to Check or Course Hero. Which brings me to number four, find a friend. Hey bro, you wanna be my best friend so we can share some sure. answers? Yeah, no problem, dude. Cool, bro. Number five, damn textbook. You really don't need a damn textbook like a millennial. We find that free shit in Google. Duh. Um, professor, do we need a textbook for this class? Uh, yes, Adrian, you do need to buy the book for this course and you have to read them. But you don't have to buy the course code for this class, so you're gonna save a lot of money. Psh. Who needs a book? I'm not gonna buy that book. I can save $150 and still pass the course. That's what you call Google. This brings me to number six. As a millennial leader, you learn how to indirectly delegate work. Especially if you overslept and miss class. Oh shit. Savings. As a college student, since I'm broke, I learned how to save and budget my money. Eight, developing rapport. As a liberal arts student who always write an essay, mm -hmm, I learned to communicate effectively on exams. I gained strong writing communication through exams by explaining why I'm not going to get this question right, but willing to try and should give three four points of trying and explain how the professors barely touch on this topic and consider giving me a full credit. BAM! That's how you get full credit. Which brings me to number 9. Quantitative skills. As a smart person, I learned how to self-grade my test during exams. You learn how much you value. But guys, you have to be realistic. Number 10, what I actually learned. I learned that knowledge can be learned anywhere. And college is about experience and learning about yourself. With this four year experience in college, I learned how to be resilient, patient, and self-disciplined. 
because without these skills, I wouldn't be able to survive the roller coasting ride of college. It's wild. And I'm happy that I'm done. See ya. Boo.